with another F series of Let's Play. I'm your host, Nick Legato, and with me is the infamous Douche Waffle. Say hello, Douche. Hello, it's good to be here. It's the one time I get to call somebody a douche and actually, you know, don't make them feel bad. Yeah, there's no offense taken. Unless I want to call you Blueberry Waffle. Mm, I guess that's your choice to do so if you wish to call me Blueberry Waffle. I've never had anyone do that no, before. No, no, Douche but... Waffle, because everybody likes a clean waffle. You know? Everyone loves clean Especially waffles. Especially because I don't know where your waffle's been. I, I don't want to... Yeah, so we're going to do a Let's Play of Resident Evil. This is the original Resident Evil released in 1996. Pretty much the second game to really get, um, in my opinion, to get Capcom off the ground here. And, uh, you know, this is what started the famed series. Now, this is the GameCube remake, right? The GameCube remake. Yeah, because, you know, nobody wants to see 2D polygons anymore. They want to move on to, to better Resident quality. Evil. Thank you for telling me. I don't know what game I'm playing without the big voice telling me. Yes. So, do we want to do mountain climbing, or do we want to do hiking? Uh, I say we just do number one. That's the harder one. Well, more hiking. Uh, hmm. Well, you know what? Since I haven't played this game in, like, well, then, since 96, well, maybe then, we should do it a little well, one. Well, yeah, just go hiking. Hiking, now. mountain climbing, where's fisting? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> Where's ass spelunking? That's the... <laughs> Alright, hiking. Hi oh, damn it, I hit B. That's right, it's a GameCube controller. That might actually help. Resident Evil. No shit, Sherlock. Let's try this again. <clears throat> um, hiking. hiking. Today is a very hot day. Okay, we have two characters. Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Since I like looking at, at, at booty, we'll go with Jill for right now. So... Yes, kitten, you have been selected. Jill Valentine. Oh my God, I remember the nineties. Flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. They found the frickin' pub. They found the pub. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Was it me? Victims were apparently eaten. The barbecue sauce. <laughs> or, or by one vigorous hobo. <laughs> Did you ever see hobo with a hit shotgun? No. <laughs> Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. You don't say. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. At least somebody hung up, hung out, right? We continued our search. Holy shit! It's Johnny Bravo. Hey, baby. <laughs> or Duke Nukem. <laughs> Duke Nukem. A nightmare. <laughs> I didn't know Duke was in this game or Johnny Bravo. Oh, I can't tell anymore. They, I think it's the same character. Probably. Oh, look, they did that just for the first-person shooter fans. They tease you with it. Yeah. I almost pooped myself. <laughs> Fast predators. Slow children. That's my policy, always attack when they're unclenched. <laughs> mm. Yummy! If only those dogs knew it was going to go straight to their hips. Speaking of hips, look at that hips on her. That's yeah, something out of the 80s, isn't it? It's obvious she's a woman because none of the shots hit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, there are some good women shooters. Uh, that's just very few. Usually when they're pissed off and want to shoot you in the balls. Come on! Oh, yes. Chased by hounds. Release the hounds. <laughs> hey, what a chicken Come shit. He's like, I'm not sticking around for this shit. Yeah, what an ass hat. I'm Johnny Bravo. <laughs> I'm, I'm an American, and only Americans wear sunglasses in the dark. 
You know, I do wonder how he can see anything with those sunglasses on in the middle of the night. Well, you know, there are, there are some spoilers that, you know, would have explained why he can see in the dark. Because he's stoned all the time? Probably. Well, probably. He thinks he's Elvis. He could. Captain Wesker. The name that started it all, huh? <laughs> you know, the, the original badass with the sunglasses. At least in video games. Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. Without my sunglasses. <laughs> what was that? It wasn't my sunglasses. Chris? <laughs> no. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. Before the sunglasses. <laughs> I can't help it. Where are fucking sunglasses indoors? I know. In the, it doesn't matter where he is. He's always got the fucking sunglasses. Look at the butt on Jill. Isn't that like... That's like ghetto booty tacular. Yeah. You know, I, I don't even think that's the proper way to say it, but that's... She's got some junk in her trunk. Oh, look, look, at, the, look at the size of his gun. Like yeah, gun. You know, he's got the magnum. It's like tri-gun status. Jeez. Don't bring tri-gun into this, please. <laughs> please, no. So here's our inventory. The survival knife, which is actually useless for the most part. Defense weapons, which is something they added to the to the remake. Um, and Jill has a larger inventory than Chris, which is why I usually like playing Jill first. Because no matter what difficulty you're on, she, hers is her playthrough is easier. I think you better take a look at this. I wonder why she has a larger inventory. Because she's got she hides stuff in her ghetto booty. <laughs> she can hold some clips in her crack. Jill, yeah, probably. Look at that thing! It looks like See the freaking Grand Canyon. I'll be examining this. I think the Grand Canyon's wrong analogy. Increases. A wrong analogy? Yeah. What do you mean, like the crater on the moon? <laughs> Is that a better one? <laughs> the Nile River when it's drained. <laughs> okay, so we can check stuff out as I'm just gonna berries. investigate this pool of blood here yeah, for a little while. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look and see if I can find some dead dude's wallet. All right, well, let's explore then, shall we? We should, this scene coming up is probably one of the most famous scenes in survival horror. Arguably. I think you'll recognize it. And I know you've never played this game before. I do. I actually, I actually watched it be played, um, the first, the, the very first one. Not the remake, though. Not the remake, no. Mm. Om, 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 om. It's making out with somebody. I don't... I can't tell if that's a zombie or a very angry clown. <laughs> Uh-oh. Well, I don't want to waste ammo because we only have 15 shots, so... Let's not do that as he's chasing us at one mile per hour. See, that's what's great about the old George A. Romero movies. They didn't run after you. I mean, it makes him a lot less threatening, though. Well, until you're surrounded by... Yeah. yeah. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! It's Rick James, bitch! <laughs> Let me take care of it. <laughs> Timber! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed, killed by this thing. thing. You'd think that gun would have done a lot more damage monster. than that. Yeah, really. Better he's just a really bad shot. I mean... Well, I mean, he's right, it was right in front of him, though. That's true. You, what the hell was that? I think the zombie got up. I'm not. I'm not. Should we sure. go check it out? Uh, you don't. You don't want to pick up that. that, that, that no, that, no, that. no, no. That's just an ink ribbon. That's what you need to save your save your game. A little early. To, where the fuck did he go? He got up and walked in the, through the door. <laughs> Apparently, zombies can use doors now. Apparently zombies can one use doors and two uh, can take five magnums, four magnum shots to the chest. Well, I guess if you shoot them in the chest, that oh, they will get up. Yeah. So you think you'd blow out like half their body? Well, with a magnum, at least. Damn. Yeah, really. Come on, Barry. You that bad of a shot? Your magnum? You waste four rounds. You can't take one, one down one zombie. Wester! 
He's yeah. not answering because that's not his name. Let's not leave this hall. It's Johnny Bravo. Where did Johnny go? He's looking for the women. <laughs> and now we have to explore. So we gotta look for Wesker. What is this? Make me search the hall. What the fuck do these people think they are? I'll do whatever the hell I want. It's a beautiful remake, though, huh? Yeah, like they did a really good. Yeah, it's like when you do a remake properly, it yeah. gets good appreciation. Exactly. I think I think this should be an example of how remakes are done. Yeah. Whereas opposed to the other GameCube versions of the Resident Evil games that they said they remade, they didn't do this kind of quality at all. I think they should remake Resident Evil 2, actually. That one would be really yeah. good remake, I feel like. They should redo no, 2 and 3 no. and just get it over with. What's going on around here? Exactly. Look at that ass! Same here. It's like Chris wider than her shoulders. Her. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, Let's then. split up. The door on the other side. There's monsters all over the place. But we can split up. We could easily be lost. What's gigantic? Start on the first floor. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you white people up. always want to split up. <laughs> well, you know, I I guess I would say I'd split up as long as I had the magnum. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Something happens. Let's meet up in this hall. You're. Got it. Okay. Oakley, Dokley. Oh, Barry, you handsome devil, you. Diddly. Hmm. Giggity, my fresh Morgan. All right, let's move. So we gotta check the opposing hallway is what he asked us to do, so let's do that, shall we? Yeah. Not that we care. You know, fucking Barry. Yeah, let's let's move separately. Dumb fuck. Go hey. make me a sandwich. <laughs> Go make me a sandwich. <laughs> uh, you know. Well, there's obviously something there. So I forget, can you pull things in this game? I don't think so. Push? I think you only push. Huh. Yeah, it's not like, uh, you've played the newer ones, I know. Yeah. So, yeah, you can't... Damn it. I don't want to push it too far, because then it gets out of... Son of a bitch. Oh, yeah, look at that. Mad skills. <laughs> Isn't that rad? I totally planned it that way. Push you all the way up. And, uh, mm -hmm. she'll mount this like she mounts her boyfriend. One step at a time. <laughs> And, uh, there's a map of Mansion First Floor. Take it. Yeah. I don't see why not. And, like, one of the weirdest places. Yeah, I know. You found a map and his stash. Yeah, I wonder how the map got there. Did some, like, dude walk through here and slam Duncan in there like, Booyah! Y you know, I, I mean, I would do that, totally, but I'm just surprised somebody would do that here. Get off. Come on, woman. Obey me. Alright. Let's push this in, shall we? Now, there's... We're gonna check out that hallway while we're down here. Me as well, right? Yeah. Do some exploratory surgery. Exploratory... whatever. That was an attempt at a joke that only ended in fail. Push it in just a little bit. Okay, maybe I pushed it in too much. Fuck it, it doesn't matter. Just leave it there. Alright. Ooh, it's a hallway. Ooh, Ooh it's a hallway. Ooh, there's something glowing. Will I take the dagger? Yeah. Sure. Emergency evade. Now, this is something that's new to the remake here. And it actually, you never see it anywhere else. They didn't, it didn't carry into any other remakes, which the other ones were poorly made anyway. But whenever you're grabbed by a zombie, you automatically escape if they're facing you. If you're facing it. Quick, you, you use your emergency evade. <laughs> Quickly. I'd rather not, because I want to stockpile that shit as much as I can. Uh -oh. No! No! Ah! <laughs> well, there goes my emergency evade. Fucking thing. Let's go ahead and... Lock that zombie in there. That way I don't have to kill it. No bullets necessary. Yep, no bullets required. Well, you know, this is one of the original mainstream survival horror games. There are others that preceded it. But this is the one I think that defined the genre and made it famous. Yeah, you, know, you know, there there are those other games that like practically require you to shoot. But when survival horror is about so, worry, like worrying about your ammo, like that that's what you're supposed to dread every single monster encounter, not just shoot it down. Yeah, 
And, you, you know, this is a game where if you're not prepared, you're going to run out of ammo. And when you run out of ammo, you get pissed off something hard. <laughs> I hate running out of ammo in this game. So, and really, there's no reason for you to run out of ammo unless you get trigger happy. And if you can avoid a zombie, just avoid it. They're kind of slow. I don't know how else to word that. Um, so let's go back in here since Barry's obviously not doing what he said he was doing. Oh, check in the uh, dining room again. Did you see him in the dining room? No, he, he's probably he, fucking he, douche. He probably got tired of waiting for his sandwich. You know, he's a bigger douche waffle than you. Uh, he wanted his sandwich. Some people. The nerve, I know. Looks like he's holding on to something. This film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. It's probably just porn video. We turn it on and we just see boobies flinging around. <laughs> I like it black five. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, it just goes to show you. Everybody's got their thing. Well, it's hotter than a whore in church in, this, in, in here, isn't it? Yes, it is. All right. Ammo! Yeah. Uh, some call it a curse. I call it a blessing. We don't need any medicinal herbs, so let's just skip those for now. We'll head up, 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 and away. All we can do is go through here. And here we go. I really like how they did that. Like, they, they, they made it so you're, like, this a, a door, and then it opens, and then you go in it, like, like this. I really like that. Well, that's I've because then you that. don't know what's on the other side. Well, yeah, that's true. And so it makes it even scarier, supposedly. But yeah, I, there's I, I, a down zombie. I would really like that. Or is he? No, he's down. And there's more. Yeah, this is one of the new rooms that they added, if I'm not mistaken. Oh! Oh, no! Don't take a bite out of crime. Damn, camera angles. Yeah, I know. How conveniently misguided they are. In order to make you really screw up. I don't care about that. We know. Examine the items. There's like another one around oh. us. There's a, a magazine right there. I know. Money! Bet your ass I'm gonna take that thing. You kidding me? Alright, let's get out of here. Stupid room. Oh. I hear something moving. Ooh, kind of. I don't, I'm not sure if it's moving or if it's just like... Ooh. Ooh. Dagger. So, let's see here. Well, in order to do this correctly, we gotta get Dingle Nut to move out of the way. Which usually implies... That I gotta get him to come towards me. Because I wanna... Where'd he go? He's coming from behind! No, really, where did he go? He must be on the other side of the room. Oh, there he is. Now I gotta hurry. He's coming. <laughs> He's coming. They're coming to take me away. Ha ha. They're coming to take me away. To the funny farm! Get, get, push the fucking statue! Alright. Mr. Nomman Bits is coming for us. Alright. God, he's, he's even a faster one, actually. You see him move? Yeah. He, he, he was like... He didn't waste any time. No, he's like starving. He's like, I'm gonna get you, sucker! Oops. Be nice if I actually turn him the right way. Before he decides to figure out where I am. You know. He's coming <laughs> for me! Alright, so now that we're safe, finally for the first time. Let's let's do what they asked us to do by examining you. Oops, it would help if I pressed the right button. The arrowhead looks like it could be removed. Ta-da! Okay. Um, so we got the arrowhead. Um, so let's go ahead and do some more stuff while we're here. So you know that statue I pushed down, right? Yes. You gonna get us some freebies. May as well pick something up while we're here, right? You know, while you're standing around doing fucking nothing. You haven't seen Barry in a little while. Yeah, I know. I wonder what happened to him. Hope nothing bad. 
<clears throat> he's nothing bad's gonna happen. The dude's got the fucking magnum. Well, now I wonder. <laughs> he, the last time we saw him shoot that, I took the long way, didn't I? Last time we saw him shoot that magnum, it wasn't very impressive. <laughs> Ooh, money, blue, blue man, you saw me standing alone. <laughs> So now the rest of this is really... We can't go into any other rooms except really one. That is relevant. So let's go to that room. Let's go. Which is actually another added room that they... That is new to the game. So you guys will get to see that. And so will I. Yeah, that's right, because you've only seen the original one. Yes, yeah, so only the original. Oh, yeah. So this is a new room. This totally isn't a door. You got something dangling from your nostrils there, douche. Do I? Yeah, you got a wild dangler. <laughs> I hope that's protein. <laughs> so yeah, this is the graveyard. They didn't have this in the original, I don't believe. Is it gone? Huh? Who? Is it gone? Yeah, did, you didn't eat it, did you? No. What? What? <laughs> no. Waste a good protein right there, boy. When the apocalypse comes, that's all you'll have. So we'll use the uh, arrowhead there. What arrowhead. else would you use? I don't know, it's a dude with an archer. <laughs> or it's a cupid, rather. Why are there cupids when death is affiliated with something? Mm, whatever. Makes no sense, does I it? Know. I thought cupids were about love. Well, I guess when you fall in love, your wife ends up killing you and taking your shit anyway. So, to each his own. So this is a whole new area. I wonder what's gonna come out of there. Yeah. <laughs> you ass. I wonder what's gonna come out of there. So now that we can examine this book... Ooh, what's this? Uh, yes I will. We get the mansion key. Now, is, is that the key for the entire mansion, or is it just... You the... wish it was that easy. I mean, you know... The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil, a mask that smells no evil, a mask that sees no evil, and a mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. That last mask is pretty fucked up. Let's take a look at our key here. By examining it, we see that. So it's, it's the sword. sword key. So I'm assuming that will open sword keys that are locked by the sword key. Doors that are locked by the sword key. So, yeah, so this whole secondary thing where the, with these masks we, is all part of the new uh, remake here. You know what's interesting, though? When I think about it. Um, and it's gone. <laughs> Fuck! Um... Yeah, whatever. But let's keep let's just keep moving. <clears throat> Not gonna th think too much about it. Can't think too much about it. Well, no, I want to, but we won't think. Too much about it. Exactly. Derp 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 derp. All right. Well, we know. If, well, I know. I don't know if you know, but we can't open a door that was over here. You know, I'm just so eager to get rid of that knife, though. And unlike in Resident Evil 4 and 5 and stuff, the knife is completely useless. It does like one... It's like the weakest weapon in the game, and it takes up an inventory space. Don't worry, he can't get out. I couldn't even get in that, remember? Yeah. Sword key. Um, hmm. Forgot what I was going to say. You had one of those too? Yeah. It was because of the zombie, wasn't it? Yeah. You weren't sure if he was coming after you or getting his rocks off. The zombie frightened me. <laughs> That's not fright. <laughs> uh, yes, this corridor. <gasps> Must be that little pedophile that lives next door peeking in. I heard that. And the little kids out to play? <laughs> Let's see, and there's always an item back here. Yes, I'll take that, because now I have two, I think. And uh, we'll run down here. And a lot of people miss this one from what I've gathered. Oops, come on. Damn come it, on. you dumb bitch. Come there on. we go. Yeah, there we go. No! <laughs> <laughs> Damn controls. And hopefully this is the only yes, time we ever have was, to go through this It was corridor. the controls. Yeah, I'm sure. You know, I have a friend of mine who really hates this game. Why? What kind of game does it let you move and shoot? Survival horror? What do you think? <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's supposed to be like... 
panicking while you while you're getting yeah attacked. when he's coming to kill you you should be feeling worry and fear not yeah it's you know that's wrong Ooh, look at that hello like watching her walk in close-ups like that because then you see them boobies jiggle Jiggling. She's jiggling in both directions. Jiggling. A little in the rear and up in the front with the gear. Let's have sex. Um, not with you. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. We're safe. They're on the outside of the door. Look at all those herbs. Holy There's reds shit. and greens out here. And there's kerosene out here. Which is more relevant later? I know that's n that's something new to you. I'm not sure. Like what? Like I think I think you can combine two greens and a red or something. I'm not. Sure. No, the two greens and a red is pointless because red and a green will give you max health. So that's a waste of a green. Two greens will give you like 75 percent or something crap. Uh huh. And uh, green and a blue will heal and remove uh, poison, and then a green, a blue, and a and a red will uh, do everything, heal you and remove poison. Wait, I thought... Oh, no, 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 you're I, thinking Resident Evil 4 with the yellow ones? Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. Getting, I'm getting confused. Yeah. Less confusion. Alright, in we go. So you notice our inventory is starting to get kind of full, don't you think? Uh, kind of. Yeah. <clears throat> Two spots left. Car carrying useless gear. She needs to learn to store things in her vagina. Uh, where do you think the knife is? <laughs> it keeps the creepers at bay. Oh, speaking of creepers... I was bathing, bitch. And it's closed. Good point. Oh, you can see all the shame coming out of his mouth. <laughs> I want <laughs> to make you dance. You know, you you know I'm it's pregnant. you know it's real life when they don't keep when they don't keep their lunch, right? Uh, and we get the da another dagger. That's got to be what our third dagger now. Yeah, those are pretty important. I feel pretty like. plentiful right now. Yeah, definitely plentiful. Are those usable in bosses? No. Oh, that's too bad. I don't think you can even use them on dogs. Actually, I don't know. You might be able to. Use if a dog tackles you, I think you can use it. Uh, but. And some, yeah, but it's mostly for the zombies, really. It's really just for the g the general eds of the game, as hmm. I like to call them. Ooh, let's head in here, shall we? You know, the one thing I don't like about those scene transitions is they are a little long. You notice how slow it kind of goes. I wish it went a little faster. Oh, look at this little room. Isn't it cool? Yeah. It's got a little archer, little dude with a... Something hanging Whatever from something. That and, is. Yeah. You he never really tell. He looks happy. He's like, yeah, no worries at all, bro. I'm just a Greek mur mur mural. <sighs> oh my god, these door scenes are killing me. Oh look, looky here, another dagger. I don't think we're gonna be bitten, getting bit too bit, uh, bit too much. A bit too much. <laughs> Ooh. Shotgun. What is that? Or is it a rifle? Well, oh, it's a shotgun. I will take the shotgun. And now zombies. Oh, <laughs> never mind. Oh, yeah, really. What a shame. That's too bad. No, there are no zombies. I know. I kind of wanted to see some zombies and start going gung-ho with that thing. Uh, Speaking of gung-ho, have, uh, have, you, have you heard of that, the recent energy drink? No. Uh-oh. Hold on to that thought. Quick, exit the door. Da, 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 da. It's an Indiana Jones deja vu. I actually, uh, I actually do re remember this scene. You do? Yes. You, you need to. I forget. Did what you, you remember do dying in this scene? I don't actually. I don't even remember what you're supposed what to do. do what did I do now? What? What's what? your Barry? Help! Johnny Bravo. Oh yeah, that's right. She don't help. You in there? And my ass is holding it up! <laughs> it, it, it might be important to tell him that the ceiling is collapsing, too. Grab it just a little bit. It's like he opened the door. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> like, that's completely necessary, you know? 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Good thing we don't need to go back in there. There. You saved my ass. That was a close one. A second late, you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. No, her ass would still be hanging out of it. <laughs> But Barry, I don't even think she would have gotten crashed. <laughs> Her ass cheeks would be like a power jack. <laughs> I just had something I wanted to check. I had to shake one out. <laughs> you know, something he wanted to... You know, I don't think we'll ever find out what that is. Don't mention it. You can pay me back in sex. That's what all heroes want, right? Ultimate, ultimately. Well, that was so much for the little um, room of doom, right? Yeah. Because it's funny, because, well, I'm not going to ruin anything, because we are going to probably play through this again with Chris, right? Maybe. So, maybe. We'll see. Because Chris is, a, is interesting, actually. It's good to see the two contrasts of story. Some interesting things. It, like, are the stories completely different, or is it just, you know, like, some things play things? out? No, no, a big chunk of the story plays out differently, oh. I, I believe. Oh, hello. Now, this is a zombie we're probably going to want to kill. I say you use one of your daggers. Oh. Huh? Did he just fall? Yes, he did. I couldn't tell by the meat chunk sound. Let's make sure. The double tap! Oh, see, that's why you double tap! That's why you double tap! Oh, I think I got him right in the teeth. I hear another one moving around. I think when they're dead, they, they, they usually have the blood Pool coming out. Pool of blood, out. yeah. There we go. He started crawling for me, too. Oh, yeah, there's the other one. But we can ignore that one for now. Let's go into the safety <clears throat> room. Speaking of safety... <sighs> Disgusting. Hey, you know what? It's the fragrance of champions, bro. Get used to it. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, okay, let's see. Now we're in a safe room, obviously, because the pleasant, safe music's playing. It's so soothing. Look at all the ammo we have. Alright, let's get rid of a few things, because there is a lot of crap in our inventory. So, okay, we don't need that. I'll just explain it. In this remake, if you leave zombie bodies on the ground, they actually turn into something nasty. Crimson heads. And crimson heads are concentrated f and full of rage. Hmm. So you have to actually set them aflame. Oh. When you kill... if And that's the way you stop them from turning into Crimson Heads. Which forces the player to do a lot of backtracking and stuff. But it's worth it because it beats somebody sneaking up on you and ripping your face off. Ooh. More rounds. Um, so we'll get rid of... We'll dump this, that piece of crap off. I'm going to go ahead and save as well. I don't think... Other than the testing part, I don't think I've saved... And you can see there's a thing of kerosene right there. Hmm. The big silver jug. So you have to light them on fire? Yes. Okay. If you don't light them on fire, they will come back as crimson heads and rape you. Now, is it possible to survive a crimson head attack? Yes. Usually a good one or two to three shotgun shells will do it. Usually the second shot will slow them down. But still be, they, they run as fast as you do. And they'll literally take out chunks of your health. So that How, zombie you, you just killed outside, will, will that um, turn, turn into a crimson head? If it sits too long unchecked, yes. Now, I still can't light them on fire. I only have one half of the mixture. Oh. The kerosene and that little flask will be my kerosene flask. Which I would rather put booze in it and drink out of that. But, anyway. No, well. Because I saw lots of liquor around this place. You know, but this is a way of... See, that's why the bodies are still there. But I do have to say in the remake... Whoa, hello! It, it kind of brings a new side of threat to this game. Because the zombies are more threatening when they can get up and... and run you down, you know? It, it, oh shit, he's still alive! Yeah, it kind of goes... Right. Now, if you kill them with a headshot, they won't turn into, um... Crimson Heads either. Ah. I, oh, that, was, that just always looks cool, shooting them from that side of the room. I can't tell if they killed them or not. I don't see blood. I, ah, he's dead. I hate doing that kind of double tap, but whatever. That's the double tap I'm not a fan of. Yep. Because when they're dead, you don't have to do anything. You know, let me turn this up. There we go. Okay, well. Whew. Yeah, I know. It's hotter than a whore in church. It's... <laughs> 
It's getting hot in here. Is the heat on? Exactly. It's getting hot in here. It's like that yeah, big black ant that goes to like some of the... Uh... That's that could be a problem. That could be a problem. We'll let it go this time and just see how it goes. Ooh, what do we got here? It's a dog whistle. Okay. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Find it. So he wanted to, he hit it in his thong. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get it. As far as I can tell, the mud is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace. And he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that could get near the damn dog without risking serious mauling. Which means you can only put this collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get a hold of. Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for the both of us. John what Tolman. is that item? Now I'm curious. I wonder if it's like cheese. Maybe it's cheese. They're hiding cheese from us, dude. Well, I probably think the dog would be eating cheese. This is the botany herbs. So if you need to know about how to use, how to mix and match herbs, this is really where you find that out. We're not going to read that because if you've played this game, you know exactly what it is. Here's the other half of our zombie removal service. Um, there, This room has no... Uh, there's no doorknob on this other side of the door, so you can go out here, but you can't go in this way. Just kind of silly, but that is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and do our test. So this is what we do. If we didn't blow off ahead, we go to the kerosene, we use it, and fire. What happens if you stay on fire? Um, it actually does damage. <laughs> oh. You get toasty feet. And we'll get more kerosene while we're here. Because I don't think we've killed any other zombies, have I? What, what is she talking about? It's not necessary. That bitch. What the hell? It's very necessary. Maybe I'm not standing in the right position? Here we go. There we go. Yes, and don't leave the room until they've, like, blackened. Because I actually have seen that... A glitch come where they don't actually die because <laughs> yeah and I know there's only so many refills you can do with the kerosene so you have to be careful you have to be stingy with when you kill zombies and you want to make sure you get them um, so we'll get two more refills yes um, okay let's go back here Though, actually, this is probably a good point to drop the kerosene off. Um, I'm debating. Just go through the door. What do I have? Yeah, I'm carrying too much stuff. You, you could reload your handgun. That's not going to get rid of the, the handgun. Well, I, I know that, but... So, no, I, I like living life on the edge. I Watch, I'm going to one-shot the next zombie. Let's hope so. No, I'm not, but... <laughs> It'd be funny if I did, wouldn't it? Well, if worse comes to worse, I, and I'm carrying too much stuff, I could just go back to this room and drop stuff off. The coast is pretty clear, so... And if not, it will be clear very shortly. Actually, I think there's one zombie in this hallway. Damn zombies? Oh, maybe not. Ominous Must be on. It must be on hard difficulty, where they're actually in there. Nice! Use the sword. Have you used that key in multiple doors? Yeah. Okay. Eventually, and you use an item and it has no more uses, it will auto remove from your inventory. Oh, okay. So, as long as that key's still in your inventory, it means there's a room you haven't opened yet. Okay. Barry. <laughs> I almost shot you, you bitch. We better secure our escape route first. Gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. And it's, and it's right <laughs> here. In <laughs> June. <laughs> what? The cannon fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. Did he really just make a yellow, mellow, mellow, yellow reference? Hopefully you won't have to use it. 
Acid shells. Nice. What about you? Oh, don't, oh, don't worry. worry. I like the buddy system we have here. <laughs> BFG. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to drop some stuff off. I am carrying... Now my inventory is full. So, great. So you didn't have the grenade launcher yet, though. Yeah, I know. Which kind of makes that pointless. But, again, ammo is so rare, you take whatever you can get, right? Yeah. So, we're going to have to head back, I guess. I can't carry that for sure. I could probably get by with... No, I should drop. I should drop the kerosene and the other stuff off. Uh, can't you not go through the door, though? No, I can go through that door. Okay. It's the other. There's the one door in the study, and then there that you can't go in and out of. And that door that got me into the hall, that one stairway in the first place, only lets you go through it so many times before the knob falls off. Okay. Okay. Not that I mind going this way all the time anyway. There's nothing in here. Okay. So probably will be later, but not right now. Okay, we'll leave that there anyway. Don't need it now anyway, right? Can't carry the big wooden plate around with me. Says we're, we're running out of time for this episode, so you know we may as well call it when we get into the, we may as the well. safe room. The safe room. Safe room. Down we go. See, they. I don't think they'd be crimson heads yet, but if I were to come back here in like ten minutes, they probably would be. Ah. Uh. So, and that's just something I don't want to deal with. Since I reloaded the kerosene, though, this is a good idea, because this chest is universal. It, it'll move to any chest in the game. So, it's one of those kind of chests, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that is important. So, we can put you, you, and you in here, and that'll give me lots of room to carry other stuff. So, on the next episode of Let's Play Resident Evil, uh, we go and use the dog whistle and... Uh, and we, get a dog. we show Lassie how this, uh, what happens when you mess with a crazy bitch with a shotgun. We'll see you guys then. See ya.